Hello guys, so Jerry speaking. Welcome to OJP's Reacts episode number 1300. And before we get reacting to some free remain last episodes of, of videos from LJ Reacts episode number 1300, we do have to some the final part that's going to happen for these huge stuff. Now, Rich, we're going to be reacting to Eric Lima Schnaggins of 1937, episodes 53 to 60. But with, but because of time, I decided not to. But instead, I would react to two of the 25 KPR TV videos. And, of course, Jake's having a nostalgia show, episode 11. But today, I had, before we begin, I want to give you a toast. For 1,300 more episodes with this um, um, cake that I had recently at Publix. So let's have it now, shall we? So we got for us. We only have three more left after this, so here we go. Hmm. Giving us a 10 out of 10 of all. We'll do the reactions in a few moments. Stand by. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, okay. Um, excuse me. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't know why I keep saying okay many times. Anyway. Um, I'm back to do this, so let's do two episodes, like I said, two videos, as I mentioned before, from the 25, and we'll finish off with Jake's having the style show up to 11, beginning in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Wow. Welcome. Wow. Who will win the challenge? Find out as we begin today on Bonzi's Jungle Challenge. Wow. And now here's the host of our show, Alex Pitts. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Brandon Smith. Welcome to Bonzi's Jungle Challenge. Wow. Thank you very much, Nels. It's going to be a salty episode. Wow. Well. <laughs> be ready. Wow. Well. We got new and exciting features here on this season where our contestants can win over $1 million in cash and prizes in the banana challenge. Wow. Yes. And it's the most exciting feature to date. And I'll explain how to get that in just a bit. We're going to meet our challenges for today's episode, mm. all the way from Canada, Mark Leota. Welcome oh. to the show. Wow. Hello there, Mark Leo. Have you read Alex, the Alex, why would you why would you let him on if he does crap like that? Why, Alex? I'll get to you in a little bit, Mr. Salt. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> oh. Mark, tell us a little about yourself. First off, Del, can I get to introduce yourself? Yes, sir. Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, secondly, uh, I am in my mid-30s. Uh, I've been uh, wow. a Vikings player. I have mainly Nintendo Switch. And, of course, the big Team still fan as well. Yeah, I'm just like all of us here at the 25. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, I'm 
I'm in for hell, folks. Glad to have you. John Good. Welcome to oh. the show. Well, now, at the time he did game show watch party at the time, but, you know, I wasn't able to attend one of the watch game of watch parties, because tomorrow as I'm taping this, it's my 28th birthday, so be looking out for it. Continue on. Anymore. That's very so nice to hear, John. I'll watch Nickel and game shows on GSM. Very nice. Glad to have you here, John. Now let's welcome Mr. Salt, a.k.a. Nels Nezra from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Hello there, Alex. Mr. Salt. Alex, I have to I have to correct you. Oh? I recently moved to Eden Prairie, Minnesota. Oh, Prairie, Minnesota. Wow. I did not know about Eden Prairie. That. You might as well learn I'm, about yourself. I'm 40. Shut up, Mark. Uh, I... <laughs> Bowling is fun. Now, I um, understand that you have a little attitude at MVG Productions. No, not me. Whoa, whoa. Mm, that's not what I was told. You shut up, Leo. I do not want to make it in. All right, whatever you say. Now, do you guys ready to play the game? Okay. I take that as a yes. A correct answer will give them three spins. A correct multiple choice will give them one spin. And our first question and answer round has like a buzzer. Here we go. Where would you have to travel if you wanted to see a kiwi bird? Mark. Uh, New Zealand. Is the correct answer New Zealand, Mexico, Russia, John? Mexico. Mexico nails. New Zealand. Would you believe it? Mark and Nels got it right. Wow. Mark goes up to three. Yeah, it's smart boy thing. Yes. Nels. Next question, folks. What is the name of the panda found in the movie Kung Fu Panda? John. Oh. Is it Poe, Croc, or Lynn? Mark. Seen that movie, but I'm gonna guess uh, whatever was John said. Poe. Nels. Poe. The name of the panda in Kung Fu Panda is Poe. Wow. Mark goes up to four, John up to three, and Nels up to two. And here is the last question of this round Absorbic acid is another name from what vitamin? Wow. Since nobody buzzed in, I'm going to give them three possible answers, and if they're right, they get one spin. Wow. Absorbic acid is another name from what vitamin? Is it vitamin C, vitamin K, or vitamin A, Mark? Uh, vitamin C. Vitamin C, John. C is for a cool soup. Alex? I'll go with the crowd C. It's actually vitamin A, not vitamin oh, wow. C. Wow. No spins well, awarded for that yeah, round. Well, I guess the cookie wasn't good enough for us on that one. Not all cookies <laughs> are created equal. No. Um, then the cookie box will get you for this. <laughs> I can see one. Yeah, first question round, let's head up to the big board. Wow, wow.
All they have to do is land on the token, be the winner at the end of round number two without getting bombed the fight, and they get that chance. We wow. only have one token up there, so anybody can get it. Yes. Only one. All right, we're going to go to the person with the least amount of spins, and that is Nels with only two spins. Are you ready, Nels? Yes, come on. Stop at five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars. You got one spin. Challenger pass. Okay. Play it. Play it. I like it. I like yeah, it. Yeah. Still. Stop at ten fifty. You're up to fifteen fifty. Now we go to John with three spins. Are you ready? I am ready for it. All right. Here we go. Wow. Is it 
Ontario, Erie, that's E-R-I-E, or Guron, Mark? Huron, John. Ontario. Mark is the only one that got it. It's Lake Huron. Wow. Oh, crap. Sorry, Nels. <laughs> one spin. You guys got to get some spins. Come on, John and Nels. This is the last question before we get to the big board where are we increase the big money to $10,000. Wow. Name the state capital of Texas. Nels. Is the correct answer Austin, Houston, or Dallas? Mark. And fun fact, me. My mom was born Houston. Continue on. Dallas. John. The my football bra is Dallas. Now, where do you guys get Dallas from? It's Austin. Wow. I'm sorry, John, you didn't get any spins, but you can still get spins if one of them gets past you as we head right back up to the big board. We've increased the big money, as you can see, we got Merlin Squares, which acts as prize squares, bonding, and that million dollar token is still up there. I hope wow. everybody can get it, because if they get it and they win the game, they get to play the banana challenge for a million dollars. Wow. Let's recap the score. Now, John, you still have the lead, and you can still win, even though you have no spins. Normally, we go to the person with the least amount of money to spend first, but since there's a time we go to the person with the least amount of spins, and that is Mark with one measly spin. Are you ready, Mark? Wow. Well. Uh, wow. Well. Square. A Merlin Square. Wow. $4,995. That takes you up to the lead slightly with $6,145. Now we go to Nels with three spins. Are you ready, Nels? Mm. Yeah, let's go. All right, here we go. Wow. Five thousand dollars Wow. 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 Wow.
Fonzie, you're going down. We'll see about <laughs> that. You just got to take his bananas away from his vault, which has thousands of them. And every time you reach a certain milestone, you will get a prize from the prize packet. We got a 779 Segway scooter for 1,000 bananas, a refrigerator from GE worth $1,599, a trip to Austin, Texas for five nights. Wow. He mentioned Austin before in this episode. Continue on. 5549 and our car today is a 2023 Lexus IS worth 45975 and the price package today knows you're playing is $52,902. Wow. And of course, Bonzi's still up there. You don't lose any bananas, but if you get four Bonzi's, you lose the bananas and you lose the prize of what you accumulated. I will give you an offer if you get the third Bonzi. And you have a limited spin. Are you ready, Nels? Yes. All right, here we go. Ready, big. <laughs> Up to 150. That's a good start there. Roll the board again. Wow. Chop it at Bonzi. That is not what we wanted to see, Nels. That's only no. the first one. Let's not do it again. Chop it another 150. Double it to 300. Wow. Wow. Again. 175, 475. Wow. 750 or thousand. Oh. Nels, that's I. What did I just tell you? I know. Wow. One more bonds, and I'm gonna give you an offer that that normally doesn't show up. Wow. 225. Let's see if you can get 300. If you do so, the scooter is yours. There you wow. go. The scooter is now yours. It's a little Segway scooter. 779. <coughs> you okay? For all the women, I am not sick. I just have a little tickle. And now let's go to the first from GE. How many bananas do I need? Another thousand? You need a thousand. Another thousand. 125, 1125, 2,000 for the second prize, 3,000 for the third, 4,000 for all four prizes. And then I'll wow. use, if we reach to the 4,000 bananas mark, I'll give you an offer to go. There you go, 200. I think you know wow. what you're talking about, Nels. At least do something. I think everybody knows. Another 300. Wow, you're catching up. 375 will give you the bridge. 150, 70, 75. You're a year before the Independence Day, like Fourth of July Day was born. Anyway, next. 175. Whatever you land on, you're gonna get the refrigerator. Wow. It's a nice refrigerator too. There you go. One fifty-five, wow. and you got the fridge. Now let's see if you're gonna be going to Austin, Texas. And quite frankly, it was one of the answers on tonight's show. Wow. Nice Two twenty-five. Look at you go. You're coming back like a hurricane. Twenty-three thirty bananas stolen. One fucking look at Nell go. He wastes no time. Let's see what he's gonna get next. A hundred bananas. That's the lowest up there. Wow. Twenty-five eight bananas stolen. Two hundred. All you need is two twenty. Two. Wow. Look how close you are. Yeah. Wow! Now let's see if you can go for the Lexus IS. You get 750, you win. Okay, now, now here's the offer I'm going to make you right now. You have the scooter, you have the fridge, you have the trip to Austin. If you want to, you can stop right now and take those three prizes or risk them to go for the Lexus IS. I do want to warn you, if you get one more Bonzi, those three prizes have to come back to me. They have to go to Bonzi. Take the bananas away, and the game is over. Mm. So, you know what? Nels, you can do this. Let's go. I'm going on. He's taking the challenge, folks. You gotta keep going. Take the fifth one. Or you get the fourth spot. 175. You're almost there. You're almost, You're almost there. there. Oh. 200. Come on, Nels. You're this close. You're this close. Nels? Let me tell you something. Whatever you get, you win everything. If you get a Bonzi, it'll be the most heartbreaking loss we've ever had, and we don't want that to happen. Exactly. Come on, folks, let's see what happens. 
Wow! Wow! That qualifies you to play the second portion that I just mentioned earlier. Now, okay. you could take those prizes right now and walk away as a winner. Or okay. you could stay here and go for a second portion of the banana challenge. So we add an extra. Everybody's moving. Hold on a second. I get paid for saying this, folks. If you decide to go on, you have to keep going until you get your last Fonzie or you reach up to 6,000 bananas. You know what? I'm going to take it and stop. Okay, hold on a second. I thought he was going to take the challenge. He's taking everything in the prize packet. Congratulations, yeah, Mel. Mel's not the smartest thing from walking away there. Anyways, maybe, and gentlemen. Maybe, Mel, you can go to the, tex the Texas State Fair and we'll really be going to play carnival games. Oh, yes. There's, there's Makes sense. There. Makes sense because my mom was originally born in Texas. What do you want? Fun time in Austin, Texas, and ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have fun. On the next episode of Bonzi's Jungle Challenge, we'll have three new challengers to drive each other bananas before getting Bonzi This is Alex Perr saying thank you for taking the challenge. Good night, everybody. <laughs> well. Wow. Wow. This is your announcer, Brendan Scruggs, speaking for Bonzi's Jungle Channel, a Paris production group presentation. So that was Bonzi's Jungle Challenge. Okay. What is this? Okay. Bonzi's Jungle Challenge, Season 3, Episode 2. What do I think about this episode? I think it was amazing. So far, this episode was a success. Now, I got two more videos to react. Playing with the game show, Season 3, Episode 2. And then we're going to finish off with um, the, Jake's Happy to Style the Show, Episode 11. Finish it off beginning in five, four, three, two, one, go. Wow. It's time to play Flicko the Game Show. Wow. And now, here's our star of the host of Flicko the Game Show, Alex Paris. Thank you very wow. much, everybody. What an honor. Brandon Scruggs, and welcome to Flick of the Game Show, where one chip could net you tens of thousands of dollars in cash. We have Mark Leona all the way from Ontario, Canada, ready to drop those chips. Welcome to the show, Mark. How are you feeling today? Good. That's good. I like that little Mario impersonation. Yeah, well, the Mario movie's going to be uh, coming out soon. Well, at least as of recording, it'll be out soon. It'll probably already be out once this airs. Even though I released it, I saw it in fears. Even though I I did a spoiler free review about this and the whole thing was great. So there you go. Continue on. Yes, and I'm really looking forward to that movie. It's already looking promising as it is. Yes. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Mark. Yeah, well, I know for a fact that movie's uh, looks like it's going to be a lot better than uh, that attempt they tried in the 90s. God, that was a flopper. Even though I did a nostalgia critic review, I saw a nostalgia critic review about it. Yeah. That was terrifying. But yeah. That was uh, terrible. I, uh, I am currently 35, although by the time this airs, I'll probably be 36. Uh, game show connoisseur, and of course, a big Nintendo fan, as we uh, just went over. We're all Nintendo and game show fans here on the community. What would you do if you won a lot of money? You could possibly win up to $100,000 here. Well, that would certainly pay for me to uh, visit Super Nintendo Land. 
I got a visit to Super Nintendo. Well, well, well. You know, I would... As one of my neighbor... One of my stepdad... Well, one of my dad's neighbor said, You should go to Super Nintendo Land. But I thought, well... That ruined Willie Woodpecker's kid zone for me. That's my of childhood. Keep doing. Which I actually plan to do for real at some point in the second half of the year. Oh, fun. You plan to go with anybody? Um, I think so. Uh, uh probably with uh, Audrey and just some of our other uh, online friends. Well, I hope you have a fun time if you decide to go. Glad to have you here, Mark. Let's play Plinko the Game Show. Just for being here, Mark gets one chip where he can win as much as $20,000 over there, as you can see. I'm going to give Mark a chance to earn the four more Plinko chips by guessing the correct digit from these small items. And Jeremy, please describe the first item. This steam iron for clothes offers superior wrinkle removal from even the most stubborn of fabrics. As you can see, we have a price of $70, and that's incorrect. But do you believe it starts with a 7 or end in a 0, Mark? Okay. Oh, we'll be right back. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, my mom just uh, recently um, fixed my bed for me, but I'm back now. Let's continue on. I would guess the zero. The zero. Yes, forty dollars. Good. Mark gets a chip there, and now let's go to the next prize. Easily accommodate individual preferences with a simple turn of the shade setting dial and enjoy lighter or darker toast with this toaster. Does the price start in the two or in the four, Mark? I'm going to guess the two, Alex. Let's see if it's the two. Yes, $28. Mark oh. has a total of two chips. Let's see if he can get a third one with this next item. With 700 watts wow. of heat, blending power, and stainless steel ice saber blades. This smoothie blender gives you all the power you need to make smoothies, protein shakes, frozen drinks, and more. Those sound good, especially on a hot, sunny day. Wow. Does it start with the three or end in the seven, Mark? And the nine? Uh, seven. Seven. Oh, sh**. You know what I just did? What? Okay, you know what? Reveal it. Reveal it. I accidentally set out the price over there. So I have to give that to Mark. That was my fault, folks. I am so sorry. You know, you know, it's okay. It's okay. But it was made me a mistake. Continue on. Let's hope that doesn't happen again with this last item. And finally, this jewelry cleaner generates 42,000 hertz of ultrasonic sound waves with 35 watts transducers for a powerful yet gentle clean that won't harm your valuables. By the way, the other false number was a 9. Now, does the price start with the 4 or end in the 0, Mark? Alright, um, I'll try the 4 on this one. Alright, let's see if it's the 4. Yes, it's 44 dollars. Mark has all five chips, including the four that he has, along with his free one, so he can win as much as up to $100,000. We're going to get things underway with the first chip, and where would you like this first chip to go, Mark? Uh, let's put it uh, dead center. Dead center. And it's going down towards zero. What a terrible oh, no. start, Mark. Zero dollars. Now, don't well, let that happen again. Man, I'm dropping everything. Whoa! Here is the second chip. Where would you like it this time? Alright, well, best to get the zero out of the system early. <laughs> exactly. Uh, let's go with slot number seven. Let's try that. Number seven? Yeah. Hmm. That I kind of don't understand. Slot seven. Or. No, okay. What I mean is like two places to the right of the middle. Okay. One, two, to the O. Yeah. I'm using the Plinko board, but $2,500. There you go. You got some money. 
Here is chip number three, folks, and Mark is going to place it. All right, maybe it might help if I ask to reset the letters. Uh, maybe toward the top of the P. Top of the P. You can also say far left and far right if you want to. Another $2,500 taken up to $5,000. Here is okay. chip number four, and Mark, where would you like this chip to go? Far right. All the way to the right. Oh, shh. It went off, and it don't count. Exactly. Same position? Yeah, same spot. And this time it is going to zero. Again? Zero, zero, zero. That is not what we want. Exactly. $5,000, and here is this last check. Where do you want to place this? All right, let's go for 20 grand on this last one, dead center. Let's make it $25,000. That'd be a nice payday. <laughs> what? Okay, this is getting <laughs> asinine here, folks. Same position? Yeah. All right. $1,000. Congratulations, Mark. You have just won yourself an easy $6,000. Thank you for playing Play the Game Show. Anytime, well, Mark, you're always welcome to be a contestant on next well, year, too. Okay. And if you'd like to be a contestant on Plank of the Game Show, here is Brandon Scruggs to tell you how. If you'd like to play Plinko, send us a request on the 25's Facebook page and join the 25 Discord server. Must be at least 18 years of age to play. Wow. Thank you very much, Brandon Scruggs. And when we come back, Georgia up from Sierra California will be... Drop and chip where he could possibly win up to $100,000 right here on the of the Game Show. Okay. Welcome back to Plank of the Game Show. I'm here with Gorgelov from Series California. He's ready to drop chip and hopefully win wow. up to $100,000. Welcome to the show, Gorge. How are you doing? Would you like to know Game Show host? Okay. Well, an unexpected response, but... I feel um, that you are ready to go and win, ready to win big. Yes, sir, whatever. Hey, hey, easy. Whoa, big wow, wow. Easy. I want to play. All right, he knows how to play the game. He gets one chip, and he can win as much as up to $20,000 with that one chip. And he can earn up to four more chips by guessing the correctage of these small items. Start with the first one, Jeremy. This tomato strainer easily juices with no peeling, de-seeding, or coring necessary, which also includes a stainless steel pusher to help guide tomatoes to the bottom for juicing. There's a price start with the five. Five. Let's see if it's a five. Yes, it's thirty-five dollars. He has a total of two chips. Let's see if he can get another chip with this next item. Now faster than ever, Roku Express wow. offers a seamless HD streaming experience that's perfect for new users yet powerful enough for seasoned pros. Does the price start with a six or a nine? It's the same as six chip. Yes, we know, Gorge. Jeez. Nine. Twenty-nine dollars. He has another chip. Taking up to three chips. Let's see if he can go up to four chips with this next item. The George Foreman Submersible Grill series eliminates the hassle of complicated cleanup with a 30% faster preheat. Malt watering meals are made fast and allows up to four servings. Is a price start with a nine or in the zero? Zero. Zero. Yes, $50. He has a total of four chips. Let's see if he can get all five chips, just like with Mark, with this last item. This flashlight wow. is stable and super bright and provides an incredibly powerful lighting, 10 times brighter than other normal LED flashlights. Does it start with a 2 or and then a 1? One. 1. $31. He has a total of 5 chips. He wastes no time. Take your chips, and when you are ready, drop them on the board. He is placing it in the end, and the first one is going down towards a thousand dollars. One thousand dollars for Gorge. Place your next chip wherever you like it. He's gonna go towards the far left. Wow. And this time it's going twenty. Wow. Twenty thousand dollars. Twenty-one thousand dollars for Gorge. And take your next chip. 
He plays in no time. He places it in the P, and he gets $500 more. He has a total of $21,500. Here is his next chip, and he's taking it, and where is he going to place it? Drop one ready. 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 It's not like Elmer Fudd said. $2,500. That takes him up to $24,000. Here is his last chip, and where is he going to place it? Near the O. It, it happens, Gorge. You need to chill on your attitude. He changes it into the metal. Another is taking up to forty-four thousand dollars. Congratulations, Gorge. Your mind's right over here. Thank you for playing. I hope to see you again on the next episode next season. Wow, that gorge was something. Wow, exactly. What an idiot. Wow. All right, ladies exactly. and gentlemen, that concludes another exciting episode of Plinko the Game Show. Tune in next week where we'll have two new contestants where they'll drop chips and hopefully walk out of here with a whole lot of money. This is Alex Kurtz reminding you to help control the pet population by having your pets spayed or neutered. Good day, and see you next time, everybody. Oh, boy. This is your announcer, Brendan Scrub, speaking for Plinko, the game show. A parents production group presentation. Okay, so that was playing with the game show, season three, episode two. What do I think about this? It was amazing. So far, this episode was a success. Now, I was originally going to react to Jake's having to start the show earlier in the episode, but because of time, I decided not to because um I ran out because it's almost about it's almost let's say. Um, ten, let's say, almost my birthday when I'm taping this episode about the react. But I decided not to do this today, so... Let's just say that anyway. But, regardless, this might be a short Elder react episode, um, to celebrate. It's 1,300 episode. And that was Elder episode for Elder react episode number 1,300. Hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned with the next one. I'm not sure what the next episode will be. Yeah, this episode we're going to react to. Whatever. We're going to react to something right around mid-July. Because I still have a, a, I have a theory that the next episode I'm doing will be something special. You just have to wait and find out what the next episode will be at is sometime around in mid-July. We'll just see what happens. Till next time, so just bump so baby, you are the rest of the so it's out. See ya. Given on to me this life I'll never take for granted. And given all the time I fail to really understand it I never sought to meet the maker of reality The one who gave the life that which is always happening But I try All the time Was I the one to see things as I do under the moonlight and the sun? Perception is the question, and the giver holds the key.